Um, this, this is the story of baby number two. <laughs> Nervous. I'm sticking it in the pee. Tomorrow? Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> it smells like pee. Okay, yeah, let me put that in. <laughs> All right. I am not like actually so nervous. This is all I think. I think it's pregnant. <laughs> Okay. Is that fucking pregnant? That's fucking pregnant. That's pregnant. That was very unexpected. Yeah, it was. Are you okay? I'm okay. I'm scared for you. I need you to be okay. I'm okay. There's no evil lot going on right now. Oh, babe, 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 babe. I know you've got a lot of juggling. <laughs> This year just keeps getting more and more interesting. And <laughs> say so you're there's a little bit of light and a lot of shit that we've had and, and sadness and you may be coming just when we need you. We get to tell Sutton we're having a baby. <laughs> That's really cool. <laughs> Sorry, you're getting a sibling. <laughs> I'm gonna be a big sister. <laughs> I'm gonna be so excited. She's gonna be the best big sister. <laughs> she will. She already, like, she already shares she, all of her And she food, takes all care of everyone. She already like is <laughs> she already a big sister. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday's gonna be baby. <laughs> we gotta teach her baby. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so this is where I was born. <laughs> we're at the hospital. I just found out I was pregnant today and we're at the hospital that I was born to visit Tom's mom, which is just a weird moment. Hold on. I feel like this should be a really exciting time because it should be because I've been through it and it was something I looked forward to for so long and um the timing just feels off um Tom's mom is really sick and she's slowly dying and I just feel like it's selfish 
right now. I know it's not, but it just feels that way. It feels like all of our attention should be focused on her and memories with her and like not on me. Um, but it's hard to also feel that way because like being pregnant is such um, a miracle and I want to celebrate every moment. I just don't want to get, I just, I'm, I'm just an emotional little fucking wreck because of this baby right now. So I'm trying to breathe through it all. Kind of take some pressure off myself. But it's really hard because I felt like I've been holding up our family for a few months now. It's been really hard on my husband, Tom. And um, I feel like I've been the rock. And I just feel like I need to lean on someone. And uh, I don't know, at the same time, the moment we found out, Tom's like whole demeanor changed in the, in the best way possible. A lot of people don't share the side of pregnancy. I didn't experience this my first pregnancy. It was freaking butterflies and rainbows. Um, I think it's okay to be scared. Now that I've just used tears as a new face serum, I think that's, I think I'm out. So, I was way too emotional to make this video last night, so I'm going to make it now. Um, we're going through Lenore's things, kind of emptying out drawers, uh, getting ready to pack the house up. And I was going through um, some of her bedroom dresser drawers, and she doesn't have a lot of stuff. Like, I mean, this house, when I tell you, there's, I mean, there's two things. One... She was very particular on what she kept. She didn't really keep knickknacks um, or junk. And um, so yesterday I was going through her bottom drawer. And I found the way I told her that Sutton was born, which says, can't wait to meet your grandma, July of 2022. Um, it was just wrapped up in there, just next to her socks and her other things. But this was the only keepsake in that drawer. Um, she held on to everything. She holds on to nothing. <laughs> this just also made me really emotional because I wanted to do something really special with number two. <laughs> Um, this really tough situation because Lenora was ready. She was ready to be done with the pain. She was ready to be done with the cancer. Uh, and, you know, I'm only like five weeks or something like that. And every time we spent time together, it was Rachel help me make it stop um you know i don't want to do this anymore i kind of felt like telling her about the second pregnancy i didn't want her to feel guilt about not wanting to be here you know and she loves Sutton so much i didn't end up doing a big thing to tell her but um the morning she passed it was kind of at the end and she wasn't really responsive at that point, but she would do twitches, and, and I know she could hear us. And I just said, I oh, didn't get to tell you, but I'm pregnant. <laughs> I took a pregnancy test. <laughs> it wasn't in some fancy way, but she knew. 
and um, this baby just means so much to us right now. It's getting me through a lot. It's getting me through a lot. Rewatching this footage that is like this footage put me in a time lapse that gave me happy, sad, and everything in between. I just stopped. How many times? I walked out of the room every three minutes. And it was like uh, happy, anxious, or like maybe that makes sense, but it, it's it's so beautiful and raw. And, and my mom feels like it just happened and it feels like it's five years ago already. And I hate that and I love it. Uh, doesn't it? It's only been a year and a half, but I forgot about all of this. I know, <laughs> This is crazy. It's 171. Congrats. Big sister. I have no idea what that means. Say, mommy's pregnant. Really? <laughs> <laughs> so, what's our book called? <laughs> I'm a big sister now. <laughs> that went right over. <laughs> <laughs> We're calling the florist right now to see if we can plan out how we're gonna do this announcement. Well, Tom's gonna call, I'm not calling. <laughs> I'm so nervous, okay, do it. <laughs> You're so nervous? I am so nervous because once we call and we like book this florist thing, like it's official and things are moving forward and then the world will know. I just know that Tom's mom would think this was beautiful <sighs> and I want to do it and honor her. So it's not, it, it's not for show, it's, it's oh, really I'm a hundred. I want, I want my mom to like look down, see this, and like literally start crying because how beautiful it is. Oh shit! I know me too. <laughs> it's gonna be cool. Hopefully, it looks cool and not just <laughs> like I have a vision, kind of. Um, I was trying to get a hold of Brian if he's still there. He did tell me earlier that you would be calling back. Perfect. Uh, about a pregnancy announcement. Pregnancy announcement. Okay. Uh, so we're doing like a photo shoot um, in our yard and just want like a big floral arrangement. So I guess back there, my initial thought was probably moving those stones, obviously the keg <laughs> and the cooler and putting probably like a bench I think I want my, we have a youngest daughter to um, be maybe like playing or picking flowers. Um, and then around the bench, having just flowers in different arrangements. But I didn't know if those would have to be on like pillars or how that could be achieved. I mean. Oh, oh you. <laughs> <laughs> what did I say? Just know what you want, because I don't know what your vision is. And then she goes, so what's, what's your, vision? your vision? And I go, I don't oh, know. I don't know. I just want, I just want to pay you the big bucks to transform this space into a beautiful garden for me. <laughs> so I think, I think this is, okay, this. Now, let me explain it. <laughs> okay. We can do this all ourselves. Do like a bunch of like, make it like, you know, foliage yeah, yeah. full. Fill it in. 
But I think if you redo the stones, we put in the nice stones and we can use those big stones and make a path. Like that would be really cool. Do a path from like here and lead it out. You know what I mean? Um, and then if we want to do the bench, looking at it from this way, we can put the bench along here. Bed. And then it, I think it would look like a pretty little bed in that day. No, I think this works. This is a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I, I see this though. I do you get see? It. Do you see the? I get it. I get it. By the way, it's um, it's March sixth, and this Wednesday, all has to be done by next Tuesday, March eleventh. <laughs> you think that's doable? It's not really hard. You're just putting. I said it's a lot of work. <laughs> <laughs> My well, dad well, said it's not hard, so it's not hard. <laughs> probably be doing one post. A day for the next two weeks. Or do we just Hopefully, I can even get that out. Kind of We've got a lot of behind the scenes that are about here. to go down. It's going to be a really cool project. The photos are going to be incredible. I do. Can I have my dad here to help? Okay. Tomorrow we go shopping. All right, put your hand in, Dad. <laughs> this is Team um, Sprout. Pro well, oh yeah, Team Sprout. One, two, three. Team Sprout. Sprout. <laughs> I didn't think that it was possible at first, so I was like, let's just call a florist and see if they could turn it into something magical. And then we're like, we could do this ourselves. We don't need a florist to do this for us. We're gonna do, I think, one special piece for Tom's mom. Then the rest of it, we get to do as a family, and I'm really excited. Oh my goodness, honey, look at this outfit. Let me see those wellies. Let me see those shoes! Do a spin. Do a spin. Oh, you look so pretty! No. Are we gardening today? No. We're building Sprout's garden. Well, he should be popping. on this. Yeah. The, uh, the, the rock, the landscaper, the rock these and the stone people, they're gonna come lay down new rocks. Me and Tom right now are trying to figure out like a path to make. So, me and Ed both went to the forest, cut down some trees and we've been woodworking. <laughs> This is what mine's coming together looking like. <laughs> this is what his is. I took a lot of time putting finishing touches, screwing in the holes, making good pilots. He's kind of just, he's going for the rustic look. <laughs> Sutton, what are you guys doing? Okay guys, we're building over here. You guys are just hanging out. Gonna be a boy or a girl? I think it's a boy. That was that was that a quick, quick response. Answer. That's a man play. <laughs> do you want to do one more? No, we do have one. Rachel's just trying to delay. No, I know. I have to get to bed. He's leaving us. Five ten. We're saying goodbye to my dad. I'm so sad. Drive <laughs> oh, oh, oh. oh boy, I got that. That's Did okay. Get your hand. You got it. Did they get your hand? Have you seen? Have you seen our rug? Have you seen <laughs> something? <laughs> <laughs> Any for the car? Yeah. All right, Ed. Love you, guys. Love you. Yeah. Um. So my dad officially just pulled away. Or is pulling away. And it's so funny because I feel like I worry more about him than like my own child. I 
it just gives me more anxiety because he's older. Um, so I feel like when he's with me, I feel like I mother him, which is so funny. Um, did you take your medication? You need to go to bed, do all these things. It's, I feel like I don't even do that to Satin. I'm just so much more protective over him. And I don't know if that's because I just see our time together is shorter or what. It sucks that he's leaving. Yeah, it sucks. Um, today, today's our day where we're gonna go buy flowers later and plant the garden. Wish my dad was there to help, but we asked him what colors we should do because he's colorblind. <laughs> so we asked what we should incorporate for him. So, so we're gonna do that. Go team. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> yeah, girl. Tom and I decided to run to the farmer's market really quick to see if they had anything. Our farmer's market has the most beautiful flowers. The most beautiful flowers. So I found this and I think these will be really beautiful to kind of sit on the table, have loose flowers that we can put into a vase and make with. <laughs> and then I convinced- hey, baby, hit me with my wheel. <laughs> oh shit, I'm sorry. Um, and, that, <laughs> and then I convinced Tom that we needed a cherry blossom tree. So princess, <laughs> a princess cherry blossom tree. So we have ourselves a cherry blossom tree. I can't wait. I'm literally never say I'm so excited, but I am so excited. It um, is. It's coming, beautiful. The color, like all the flower, it's beautiful. It's breathtaking. Yeah. Not, like my mom would. Your freak. mom would freak. She would freak the fuck out. So um, we handpicked every flower so far that's going to be in our garden, and I think. That's incredible. Ma'am, your chauffeur, Uber driver, you're almost at your destination. Oh yeah. Um, I just called um, Sarah, she's my nail girl. And I said, Sarah, don't tell anyone, but I have a pregnancy announcement and I need my nails done ASAP. Can you fit me in today? And she's like, come in in an hour. So I think I'm just gonna do something really neutral, maybe a cute little like flower design on a few of the nails. I'm not really sure yet, um, but we're just gonna keep it fresh. Pretty neutral, airy. Yes. And by the way, we got the flowers secured, so if you want to do the whole massage thing. Oh yeah, I told Tom I was gonna get my feet done too, and then I was like, I don't think I have time, because they do all like this really nice whole massage thing. It's amazing, this place and, is And Tom was like, oh, we have time, you should get yourself a massage. So I think I'm gonna do the little foot massage that comes with it. But yeah, it's so fun, what a fun little afternoon. And then, it's coming together. It's coming together. It's coming together. Okay. Drop me up. Oh, and I wore, look at this cute, I'm testing out wearing more color in my wardrobe. Do you guys love it? Because I'm loving it. I'm really here for it. What do you think, babe? I love it. Am I putting you at the door? Or I yeah, the door. <laughs> Princess parking. <laughs> Bye. I right, love you. Love you. Drive safe. Oh, I need my phone. They're so, so cute. Just a little dainty flowers on them. Mm -hmm. It's relaxed time. Have I shaved on? Package just, just came in for the potential outfits to wear. I had kind of two things I was going off of. Um, so I got a bunch of different things and we'll see. Are you, do you want me to open it right here? Yeah. Maybe I'm gonna just rip this one. All right. The top. And 
another tap. Are you gonna go in the back? Yeah. And another tap. We got a pair of jeans because none of my jeans fit me right now. These are your outfits. Oh my gosh, Daddy does not know this. Okay, this is a potential outfit. What do you think? Do you love it, Sunny? <gasps> this one's so sweet too, Sunny. <laughs> and a little purple t-shirt dress. Oh, I love it. I've been trying to get one of my best friends on FaceTime for like weeks now and she never answers. So I'm just gonna see if she answers this time. We're just gonna straight up be like, what do you think? What do you think of the OOTD? She doesn't answer. Oh my god, hi. What up? Can you show me your outfit? Okay. What is this for? Can I get a background? Announcement this week. <laughs> Do you like it? doing a, a YouTube for this like whole announcement and like I'm glad I got yours on camera. <laughs> Say hi. <laughs> hi. Oh wow. Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm doing a pregnancy announcement. <laughs> This means it's official. We are announcing our pregnancy if you're watching this. And uh, I'm doing my makeup. Ah, I'm doing my makeup. These are Sutton's little clips because I don't have any of those fancy ones. So we're just gonna do this. I put my makeup on. Every pregnancy shares such a different story. I just wanted to share that in a way and it took me so long to think of how to do that. Um, I'm a storyteller. I love just sharing experiences and, and getting to tell people a little bit deeper into meaning behind things. And I really want to show the whole season of rebirth and new life. This is the fence. Sorry. <gasps> show me. Show me. Oh my goodness. Hey girl. Free go. You just need to see yourself. Cause you're a Leo. You love the camera. Okay, Sadie, bye. growing our family without some of our family here and they would have all loved and been a part of it and it brings them back into our life so we think about it and it's it's really it's really hard sometimes in those moments where you want to walk away and like you it brings them back but like makes me think about them I'm thinking about my mom, and I don't want, she would just, she would have loved this. Like, as much as we talk about my mom, my dad would have been, like, fucking thrilled. 
having Ed here. Like, it's just, it feels like um, Sutton won't know them. Our new baby Sprout <laughs> won't get to know them. But I think we're doing a good job of showing who they are, keeping them in their life. And when we tell them stories about them and we explain, like, this is why we did it, they'll at least get a piece of it. And, and they'll, they'll know the people they were even without knowing them and meeting them. If you're somebody who's going through grief and joy, that it's okay to let it happen in waves. It's okay to know that days that you should feel like you should be really happy. It's okay that you don't feel happy. Um. It's okay when none of it makes sense. <laughs> that too. It's okay if nothing makes sense. Like your shit gets turned around and squirreled and tied to, like, I, I will just tell you this. The only thing that I, like, the only thing I can, like, advice I would give on that is going through it. And I've gone through it a lot, not just with my mom. Um, you need somebody. And if you're alone, Jump into our community. Like, you don't need a physical person, but they help. But when you feel crazy, you're not. It's all, it, you. your feels are your feels and they don't make sense. Have somebody, like, don't go through it alone. And like, we hope that's a part of what this, like this community gave us. So it did, so this can work. That would be my only advice of going through it so much because explaining it, I don't have a PhD in psych and you probably need one to uncover <laughs> all of these layers of joy and anger and resentment and being mad at the doctors and the hospital and cancer and everything else. Um, it's a clusterfuck. That's good. It is. Yeah. <laughs> You'll make it through to the other side. We always do. We always do. We got your back, I promise. <laughs>